Well, what was believed to be a home invasion ends up sparking an hours-long manhunt in Cranston on Friday night, eventually leading to the arrest of two young men. That's right. Those suspects answered to multiple charges in the courtroom today, while police say the search continues for additional suspects. 12 News reporter Sheena Loshudo was in court this morning, and Sheena, police used several strategies to find those suspects, right? Exactly. And police say they believe right now at least three men were involved on Friday. And basically, once police caught up with them, they all scattered into the woods. And police say actually one of the suspects that faced a judge today was found hiding under a pile of leaves. Cranston police tracking every lead Friday. Someone called 911 after seeing what appeared to be three men smashing windows at an apartment. At least one looked armed. Police say the group scattered once officers caught up to their getaway car, which police later found out it was stolen. The 19-year-old uh, Miguel Veras Martez was the first to be arrested Friday, spotted by a canine team traveling along the river on a fire department boat. Police found the suspect on the ground trying to hide under leaves. Veras Martez is facing several charges, including conspiracy and obstructing an officer. 20-year-old Devon Silva was arrested next. Police say he gave himself away after going up to a car and asking someone to borrow a phone. The driver knew about the manhunt for the suspects and called police. Silva is facing multiple charges and is being held without bail until at least his next court date on Monday. The judge points out this is not Silva's first run-in with the law. This summer, he was identified as a suspect in the Block Island ferry fight. Then, after that, police in Pawtucket accused him of stealing a car. Both Silva and Veras Martez are facing charges in connection to the events taking place after the alleged break in. Police later revealing no one was home at the time of the incident at that apartment building. Though Cranston police say more charges are likely on their way. Now, this is still a very much active investigation. As we noted, police are still looking for at least one more suspect. And Sheena, it was quite the police presence on Friday. Did police say anything about what else they found? Police tell us they actually collected quite a bit of evidence in the woods on Friday. For example, things that the suspects might have thrown out while they were getting away. And again, police say if you out there know anything, if you captured anything about this on Friday, Cranston police really want to hear from you right away. All right, Sheena Loshuda, live for us in Cranston. Sheena, thank you.